Uh, welcome back for a new video. I'm um, sorry about uh, not being able to be on the camera. Just not feeling too well today. Uh, mainly it's just my eyes have been really bothering me. i um, been having red eyes and scratchy eyes. Um, and my knees have been still bothering me. So I'm just going to do a uh, short video today just so you get a video. Because next week I'm probably going to do uh, a vlog video. Which is going to be the first vlog of uh, 2020. Um, and I'm going to try to do at least one a month. If I don't get around to doing that I will send, do another movie review. Um, and, uh, so basically let's get into the, uh, collection. Now some of these movies, um, a couple movies I've shown, uh, cause I've done reviews on, but most of the movies I've gotten, I've gotten over the past, uh, six months, some seven months, but, um, hopefully you enjoy this video. And if you do, just like always, uh, just give it a like and, um, subscribe if you haven't. So basically we have Stephen King's The Stand, which is the DVD, um, I always personally enjoy Stephen King's The Stand from 1990 a lot better than the uh, the remake that came out in um, 2016, I believe. Stephen King's The Stand, this is the uh, television um, version, and it does have um, all, all six hours of it. It's really a good film. Now, for the uh, Blu-rays, we got uh, Die Hard, which nobody really can say anything bad about. Die Hard, great classic film. Actually, I'm Die Hard 2, Die Harder. Just need to get 3, 4, and 5. Then you get Ghost Rider, The Spirit of Vengeance. This is basically the sequel to Ghost Rider. This, this is not bad. You get Good Morning Vietnam. One of my favorite, uh, the late Robin Williams films is Good Morning Vietnam. Great film. A scary Movie 2. I do have a Scary Movie 2. I need to get 3, 4, and 5. Scary Movie 1. Now, Scary Movie 1, I try to get this little sticker off, but it won't come off. But that's what happens when you go get movies at a pawn shop. Sometimes you can't get the sticker off. Um, I do have, uh, I do have Take, Taken 1. Um, it's just in the other room, but I do have Taken 2 and Taken 3. All three are uncut. To Live and Die in L.A., one of Freakin's best film, William Freakin's best movie, director of Exodus, if you don't know who that is. Um, this is a triple feature. Body of Lies, Edge of Darkness, Pride and Glory. Um, Edge of Darkness is actually a remake, um, and the guy who directed the original directed the remake. Body of Lies is a really good um, drama film, and then Pride and Glory is a really great film. So three great films in the triple feature. Now, these are the two that I uh, shown on uh, video as review, but I do have Twisted Nightmare, and I think Code Red did a really good um, transfer of this, um, and it does have a little bit of special features, and it is probably my favorite uh, Blu-ray of, of today that I owned. I'm just really glad to have that film. Um, this is also uh, Unmasked Part 25, and I've done a review of that. You've got the, the original classic VHS cover. It's got a couple features, and then you got the slip cover. So you got Jackson's half, half of his face, and you have other half of his face. Just that basically uh, shows the mask and then shows the original half of the cover art from the VHS. Then we got some TV shows. TV shows I recently purchased as uh, A-Team, the season two, which I need to get the remainder of the show. I finally got season two of Fringe. I like how little glossy the covers of, of it is. I also got He-Man, the Masters of the Universe, complete original TV series. It does have all... I think, yeah, all 130 episodes. It's got some special features, and it does come with a booklet, which is really cool. Um, let's see what else I got here. We got My Own Worst Enemy Complete Series. That was a great show. I wish it had lasted and just didn't get any fan base at the time when it came out. Shield Season 1. A really gritty and uh, interesting show that played on FX. And then I also have the second season up the shield. So, yeah. I probably didn't show this back of this first, but, I mean, pretty much know what you're getting when you get the TV shows. Some TV shows put extra, some don't. This is, I also finally got the complete series of War of the Worlds, the final season. Um, I've been wanting to get that for quite some time now. Now, this one is my favorite of, that I got for Christmas of last year. This is the complete series, all four seasons, of Viper. And it's really great that BEI, which is owned by CBS, or CBS owns them, whatever it goes, put out this box set. And it's really great because it comes in um, its individual sleeves, kind of like um, Mill Creek does their shows. 
which I never really personally have any problems with that. They always stay pretty well in good condition and everything, and nothing happens to them. So, yeah, this is one of my prized possession TV shows I got. And then last but not least, I got the first season of The Young Riders. I just got this at uh, Bill, Big Lots for like five bucks. So hopefully you like this video. And as always, like, this com like, leave comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't. If you have any you subscribe and you want a notification, hit that bell for the all button. And then uh, get notified whenever I have a new video. Sorry about not being able to be on camera. I uh, apologize for not doing a movie review, but like I said, next week I'm going to try to get a movie review in and do a vlog. One of the two or both, just depending on how I feel, um, because I've been trying to get do a vlog, one vlog a month, and it's basically talking about uh, news and horror, my opinions on certain things, um, various things, and it mainly just pertains to films or books or music. Um, I'm going to try to do at least one of those a month. And uh, we're getting close to the end of this month. So anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. And please leave comments down below and I'll catch you on the next video.